What did Mike get you for your birthday, Pam? He got me a watch. See? That's beautiful. He must have spent a fortune on it. He's so great. I think he might propose pretty soon. How do you know? Did he give you any clues? He took me to a jewelry store and asked me what type of rings I like. It was a little obvious, but at least I got to pick the one I wanted. That's not so romantic. He was never very romantic. Silly and cute, but not romantic. I like all his quirkiness. He always makes me laugh. I guess you can't ask for much more than that. How's it going with you and Brad? We broke up a week ago. I'm sorry to hear that. What happened? I think we both just started to grow apart. I wasn't surprised. Are you doing okay? Actually, I'm feeling great. I guess I needed some freedom. Have you started seeing other guys yet? Not yet. But when I meet a decent guy, I wouldn't mind dating again. What kind of guy are you looking for? Although my relationship with Brad wasn't that bad, I want a guy who likes to go out more. Brad always spent all his time studying and researching for school. It was quite boring. You definitely need a guy who likes to have fun. I wouldn't mind dating a romantic guy. Maybe I'm dreaming, but a nice walk down the beach or dancing in the moonlight would be something I would love to do. Hey, there are guys like that. All you have to do is find the right one. But that's the hard part. I always fall for the guy who is smart. And then after a couple of months, I get bored. Doesn't a tall, good-looking guy turn you on? Not really. What should I do? We should go to a club this Saturday and find a smart, romantic guy. How does that sound? That sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Great. I'll see you at nine then. Okay. See you later.